previously on Hell's Kitchen. The team squared off for Chef Ramsay's first ever Greek cuisine challenge. After smashing their way to gather ingredients, bell peppers immediately wheels started. The chef's creativity and knowledge of Greek food were put to the test by Chef Ramsay and Michelin star chef Michael Salakis. Feeling a bit nervous. Megan got the red team off to a strong start with her squid. This is really Greek food on a different level. But Michelle's kiwi and frisé prawns. Something really weird about frisé and cream. It's just not Greek. And Sarah's swordfish. Swordfish is under seasoned. Struggled to impress. I was expecting more. In spite of Josh's bloody lamb turning out to be a Greek tragedy. I wouldn't serve this. Adam's pork. I think that's one of the best dishes you've cooked so far in this competition. And Randy's chicken. I don't think you can get any more Greek than this on a plate. Country bumpkin ass Randy killing it. <laughs> Were exceptional enough to secure the win for the men. Yes. At dinner service, despite some early mistakes from Randy on garnish. I've got like liquid mash now. I know sauces that are thicker than that. And Adam on fish. Look at the fucking oil in that. It's swimming in it. The men, led by a very vocal Brett delivered their strongest service yet. Nick, good job. Adam, good job. But over in the red kitchen, a completely different story. Oh my god. Trouble everywhere. Allison burnt the lobster. Look at the color of my lobster. This is not happening. Christine failed on garnish. What are you doing, Christine? And Sarah was incompetent on meat. The Wellington are undercooked, that's raw in the middle, and the lamb is overcooked. Not surprisingly, Chef Ramsay gave them the boot. Get out. Uh, uh. And the victorious men gladly finished off the tickets for the Red Kitchen as well. Into the Red Kitchen. Yes, yes, yes. Boom, we go invade the Red Kitchen. It's like invading Normandy. The Red Team nominated. Sarah. And. Christine Chef. For eviction, Chef Ramsay then decided that it would be. Sarah who would be forced to say goodbye to her dream of becoming head chef at Caesars Atlantic City. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of it. Yes, yeah, Chef. Now that Sarah's gone, some of the dead weight is off. I think all the crazies have left the team, so we're gonna be much stronger. I'm glad you're still here, Christine. I'm not gonna lie. Thanks, Josh. I need a pretty girl here, you know? I've been up for elimination three times. Christine keeps dodging bullets. I get eye candy. <laughs> I did dodge a big bullet today. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint Chef, so I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure it doesn't happen again. I like looking at you, but not up there. <laughs> I know, I don't want to be in the spotlight like that ever again. Yeah, I'm glad you stayed. Thank you, guys. Morning. After a night of some minor flirting with the enemy, the chefs are up early. Let's run. And of course, are in a different mindset. Let's go ready to battle it out in Chef Ramsay's latest challenge. Good morning. Good morning, morning, Chef. Red team, ready for redemption? Yes, Chef. Good. Glad to hear it. Now, when used correctly, you know alcohol can really enhance a dish, right? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. And that is why for today's challenge, each team will be cooking with three different types of alcohol. Beer, wine, and liquor. I don't have a lot of drinking experience under my belt, or at least as much as these guys have, because legally I've only been drinking for like a year and a half. You'll all be cooking as individuals. You can cook what every recipe you desire. Your pantries are full, but you'll order your alcohol from two very special bartenders. <laughs> we all remember our first guest bartender as Cliff Clavin from one of the most popular TV shows of all time. Cheers. 
Good wow. shit. Please give a very big warm welcome for John Ratzenberger. Yeah. Good to see you. Likewise, good to see you too. It's a little known fact that I'm a big fan of Cheers. Also helping John out behind the bar is a esteemed sommelier. Please welcome Marino. Marino? Huh. Well, I think this is the first time I ever heard Chef Ramsay talk about you in a nice regard. Each team must make at least one stunning beer dish, one incredible wine dish, and one dynamic liquor dish. Now, decide who's doing what. All right, what do you guys want to do? I want to do beer. Beer. Um, I want to do liquor. You want to do liquor? They have like Grand Marnier, I would like to use that. Beer. I'll do that. I want to do wine. I'm going to do port. beer. I'm do so, wine. so that's perfect. You have two liquor, two beer, two wine. Yes. You've all got 45 minutes to cook your dishes. Your time starts now. Let's go. In today's Cooking with Alcohol Challenge, each chef must create a unique dish cooked with their choice of wine, beer, or liquor. This is the sherry. This is the marsala. No, I'll take the sherry. Chef, it's too fucking early right now. I'm not in the mood for drinking. What are you looking for? I want it like Grand Marnier or something with orange. Sambuca, please. The port? Yeah. Anything I need? Because I'm a bartender, so you can tell me, you know, any problems you're having in life. You know? I would, but I have to go make this dish. <laughs> sure, yeah, go right ahead. I'm going to show my versatility. I'm going to do something that I know no one else is going to do. Chocolate stout souffle. I chose a ribeye and pour it. I'm using sherry to just do classic steak and frites. I always cook with alcohol, so I'm going to jump in and I'm going to just start doing what I know how to do, and usually that doesn't fail me. Are you doing a batter for yours? I'm going to do a dark stout. We're doing two completely different things with it, so it's fine. So if everyone's comfortable with me making dessert, I need to do something amazing because my last challenge performance wasn't so great. It's time to fucking step it up. I'm doing a bourbon pork with mushrooms. That's what I used to drink when I was a drinker. I haven't had a drink in a very long time, but I do love cooking with alcohol. That's pretty good, too. Just because I don't like the alcohol doesn't mean I don't like the flavor. I want to win for the team. With the team. Blue team, you do not want to lose this challenge. Let me tell you. 15 minutes to go. Right. Oh, shit. Damn it. Hopefully I get to present my first so my souffle doesn't fall. <laughs> While Michelle wonders if her souffle will stay standing, the blue kitchen has elected an official taste money. tester. Money, baby. Ooh, ooh, money, baby. I'm gonna hit my whole steak in People are just handing me spoons, taste the sauce, taste the sauce. I'm, I'm... Good, Brett. Good, Josh. Anybody else? Taste my Leonese. Oh, Millie, across the way. Dude, tastes fantastic. Let me get, the, let me just cook. I just wanna keep cooking. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and serve. Well done. Now, joining me to judge today's challenge will be our guest bartenders, John Ratzenberger and Mourinho. Each of you prepared a dish using alcohol. However, for judging, we'll only be tasting three dishes from each side. One cooked with beer, one cooked with wine, and one cooked with liquor. You've got 90 seconds. Off you go. I'm the only one that did beer, right? Taste the donut, guys. Taste one of my donuts. Taste between mine and Millie's. Okay. Here. Hold on. I have dry. Next one. Here. Dude, sweet. Hold dry. It's good. Well, no, no, it's, it's a little raw. All right. 30 seconds to go, ladies. That's Which good. one is yours? This okay. one, plum port. And then this is. I like the plum port because you can really taste the wine. Hurry up. I'm Mine's great. I'm feeling Check it out. Taste it. Oh, it's real, real difficult for me not to present my dish, but Josh gave me that crazy eyes, and he knew that his dish was money. <laughs> Brett, we're using my dish, right? Okay, John, Marina, and myself will taste your dishes and then award points on a scale of one to five. Let's begin with the battle of the beer, please. Let's go. Two desserts. Blow it out of her face, Nick. That souffle is still standing. It hasn't fallen. It's still like two inches high. It's exactly how I wanted that souffle to look. Michelle, please describe the souffle. OK, I have a bittersweet chocolate stout souffle, berry stout sauce, and vanilla whipped cream on top. Wow. Very bold of you making a souffle. She's such a fucking badass. That's a good breakfast dish. It's a good way to start off the day. 
It's quite a nice combination, the bitterness from the stout with the richness of the chocolate. It goes well together. I find the chocolate powdery. I like to see it a little bit more uh, moisture in there. Uh, seriously, there is no powder in there at all. John, to score that out of five, what would you give it? Three. Maria? I would say a four because of the boldness of doing a souffle. For me, it's a strong four. Great effort. Well done. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nick, describe your dish, please. We have a sweet potato donut. Toss it in a candied bacon crumble. A stout caramel sauce. Visually, uh, it looks fantastic. Thank you, chef. The flavor is good. It's well balanced. John, how was that for you, sir? Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Let's go to a four. Bring you. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a three. The texture of the donut's a little bit too heavy. For me, it's a very solid three. Great Thank you, chef. Good job. Good job. I give her props for doing the souffle, but I just think that mine was a little more inventive. Next up, the battle of the wine. Let's go, please. With the women holding a narrow lead. Come on, Allison. Allison and Adam are anxious to get their dishes sampled, starting with Allison's ribeye and port wine sauce. Yeah, you guys get your own. Oh. Wow. <laughs> John's happy. Yeah. I think John's having lunch. Yeah, that's excellent. Save the bone, will you? Absolutely. Yeah. Marina? A three. Three. John? Three. Oh, four. Four. Three for me. Okay, chef. Have more finesse? Yes, chef. Good yes, effort. Chef. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, chef. Adam, please. For you today, I have a lamb. It's in a port wine and a hoached pear reduction. The, the port and pear is good, but I like it more as a dessert. John, out of five, how was that for you? I'd go with a four. four. Thank you, sir. Mourinho. For me, is a, a three. Three. Thank you, Good sir. effort. Thank you both. Next up, final. Batter of the liquor. Let's go. This will decide it. Every challenge, Megan's got something good. So I know I have to step up. I have a pan-seared duck breast mm. and a Calvados apple bacon gastrique. This is a dish you could put on the wall. Yeah, it looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah, just hang that right up. Megan has this. Fuck you, boys. We're not staying in Hell's Kitchen today. We got this. John, how was that for you? Did it work? It's very good. What is missing is a little bit of acidity. Score, Mourinho? A three, a strong three. Thank you. John? But I, I'd give it a strong three. Thank you. The gastric's nice, mm -hmm. but the Calvados is raw. You need to burn off the alcohol content, so you've got that, that sweetness. Three for me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Josh, present sure. the dish, please. Thank you. I have a bourbon mushroom sauce going with a grilled pork, and then I have a roasted root veg. Visually, it looks great. It's like something straight out of a steakhouse. God, please just let Josh have nailed this. This is good. The meat is uh, it's a little dry. Let's start with Marina. I would say a three. Oh, definitely a four. It all comes down to this. For me, it's a four. Congratulations. Yeah, yes, yes. Ah. Thank you, Chef. Yes! Yes! Thank you, chef. Yes! Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Another loss under y'all belt. Red team, blue team, a lot of good dishes. I'd like all of you now to join me in thanking this amazing man. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure, sir. Thank you. Best wishes. I'll see you again. I go back to work. Uh, grazie mille. Yes, Prego, move your ass. Fuck off. Men, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Josh. Hero today, welcome back. Thank you, Chef. You are in for a day full of fun. You'll be rocking and rolling <laughs> at the Moonlight's Roll Away, the roller rink to the stars. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Man. You'll then enjoy a spectacular lunch. Awesome. Is it the Golden Road Brewery? <laughs> a little beer tasting, Randy? All right. Yeah, finally. Woo <laughs> well done. Thank, Thank you, you Chef. Head upstairs. Your ride job, is nice waiting. Thank, Thank you, you job, Josh. Good job. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I redeemed myself. I'm the anchor today, and I pull through. Ladies, you are in for a long, difficult, arduous, brutal day. There's a laundry list of tasks I need completed. Ironing, starching, folding, steaming the glassware, polishing all the silverware. The list is endless. Get some fresh air in the patio, because you're going to need it. Man. The souffle was delicious. I can't believe they won by one point. It's frustrating. We were so close to winning. I shined today, and it was all for nothing. We need to start knocking out those boys. All right. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Forget about it.
They had some costumes for us. You know, uh, everybody looked uh, looked real cute. <laughs> Little action like this. Nothing to it. Oh, I got go. I got something around. A little backwards, a little sway and whatnot. Oh, 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 right. oh, oh, look at freaking Josh. He's such a ham. He's like a figure skater. Josh? Damn. I love to skate. Honestly, the first sport I ever did was figure skating. I was three years old. Josh looks like Elton John right now. It's beautiful. OK, Josh. Get it. Groovy. While the men are channeling their inner dancing queens, the women are feeling less than groovy. We're gonna put it on the table now? Yeah. Just put the cloth on that table, and then when you, when she gets back, you can start moving the tables with the cloths in there. But that, gee, that, that cancels out us steaming it. No, it doesn't. Lay it on the table. Jesus, it's not that fucking complicated. Exactly. Steaming tablecloths. Michelle, don't be wound up so tight, girl. Damn. I'm not. You talk about me. You're like a fucking chihuahua. You're the first person to ever call me a fucking Or even just to put the tables up, but you, I don't want to sign. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously? Like, I don't sound like that. <laughs> if they want to make fun of me because I'm the youngest and the smallest, like, fuck you guys. See, Michelle? I'm, I'm glad you figured out how to move a, ta a table, Allison. Oh, my God! Just do what you do, Allison. I don't give a fuck how you do it. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. Hell yeah. This has some beer. Right yeah, now. beer time. Woo. Trying to get my drink on. Yep. All right. All right. Nice. Awesome. Oh, it's yeah. heating time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome, yep. man. I mean, this is just good food, you know, it's beer food. This is me. I mean, I'd rather have this in a fancy dancy dinner, to be honest with you. Look what the cat drug in, boys, huh? Oh! 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 Hey, oh! Chef, oh! Chef, oh! Chef James, out of the clear blue. It can't get no better than this right now. I told you guys that like, you want to win this one. Oh. <laughs> I want you to win this one. <laughs> you guys are doing good. You're doing, I'm real proud of you. I'm real proud of what oh, you've done. Thank, thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Right? All your knowledge hasn't fallen oh. like that fears. Got a blue team, oh, Chef James. Team. Yes, uh, Chef James. Yes, Congrats on the win today. Thank you very much. Three in a row, y'all. Three, Three in a row. row. After the men finished their day with a toast, both teams head to bed early for the first time. Good night, guys. Determined to make the next dinner service their absolute best. Listen, fellas, tonight, nice, smooth, clean service, yeah? My head is in the game, focused about dinner service. I'm not letting nobody sink today. Yo, stepping off to use the restroom, team. Yes, sir. Stepping off to the restroom. Back, right, baby. Shit, my pants. We have to nail the blue team tonight. They think they're hot shit now, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, they do. It's annoying. Is Brett going to start these, or? I don't know what he's doing, man, to be honest with you. Where is he? Brett! Brett fell in the toilet. Oh, yeah. He's been in the bathroom for a long time. Oh, shit. Ugh. Why? Ah. Why? Ugh. I just heard fuck from out there. You okay? Huh? Yeah, I need medic for the back of the kitchen. Medic? I had a severe flare-up of my disc that is already slipped, which puts me in excruciating pain. Hey. He needs a medic back here. Brett does? What, do you have a problem in the bathroom? I have slipped discs that are pinching nerves, and I just was taking a shit, and something happened. Is he all right? Man, he's got a slipped disc or something. Slipped pinched disc? Nerves. Holy shit. Tearing your back while you're taking a dump, like, that's something you see in, like, in, like, a horror movie. I just hope you got to wipe. That's my main concern. Oh, oh why does shit happen? Brett, he, he fights hard. He's one of the best cooks on our team. Watch your step. Yeah, I gotta go left foot first. Go. So, uh, okay. Take your time, do your thing, and you know, we're gonna back you up regardless. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, if you need anything, just holler. 
Yo, thank you, bro. No problem. Yo, blue team, man. I'm sorry, y'all. Hello, ladies. Hi, Hello, Chef. Hello, Chef. How, How are, are you? you? Where's, uh... Where's Brett? Uh, Brett hurt his back today. He what? Pulled his back out. Um, where is he? He's upstairs. upstairs. He's upstairs. Well, um, stay here two seconds. Let me go. Yes, yes sure. Chef. Yes, Chef. Brett? Ugh. Chef, good afternoon, Chef. How are you, buddy? I've been better, unfortunately. I have a slip disc pinching on my sciatic nerve. Damn, Brett. Uh, I'm sorry. I am right. so sorry. I am sorry to myself, to my team. That's unquestionable. Here's the thing. Uh, you've done bloody well, OK? But I cannot let you continue. Kitchens are busy places. The last thing I want you doing is severe damage uh, to your back. That, that, that's long term. That's not happening. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Listen, your family are going to be incredibly proud, but you, right now, you've got to think of yourself uh, and not the blue team and not Hell's Kitchen, young man, OK? OK, but man, Chef, take care of yourself. Great. Take it easy, it will you? It was a fucking honour. Uh, get better. Thank you. OK? Thank you, okay. Chef Ramsey. It was an honour. Thank take you. Care, bud. I will take this to the grave. <sighs> you know, it's my life, it's my passion, but I'm worried about the present and the near future. You know, at this point in time, this is the end. I got a lot of support. That's why I'm not gonna fucking stop doing what I'm doing here. Fuck. Uh, ladies, line up, please. Yes, Chef. Um, I've just been upset to see um, Brett. Um, sad news is he will not be competing in the competition any longer. I definitely think Brett's injury is a blessing in disguise. At the end of the day, only one person can win Hell's Kitchen, so it sucks to be you, Brett. Tonight in Hell's Kitchen, it is Gasto Pub Night. We're changing up the menu. You are the only one tonight on your station. No friends, no buddies. In other words, nowhere to hide. We'll also have two phenomenal chef tables, one of the blue team, one of the red team. In the blue kitchen, you've seen him in popular movies. Actor and comedian Fred Willard is joining you. Awesome. That's awesome. That's Very cool. Ladies, on the chef table in the red kitchen, you'll be cooking for an actor who rose to fame as America's favorite hmm, nerd. Julia yeah. White. You have Urkel uh, in the red team's chef table. Awesome. Cool. Did I do that? Get on your stations. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. Mourinho. Yeah, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen for Gastro Pub Night. Let's go. Thank you. Once again, Hell's Kitchen is filled with diners eager for a good meal and a good time. Tonight's dinner service will feature Chef Ramsay's special Gastro Pub menu, which includes fish and chips. Kobe beef burgers, and a table-side appetizer of beer-steamed razor clams. You're having your beer? Don't drink it. <laughs> OK. Served by Megan for the red team and Millie for the blue. Pour the sauce on top of the clams and finito. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We got this. All right, guys, rock and roll. Let's do this. OK, blue team, table 20. Two scallops, two risotto, two short ribs. Yes, yes chef. chef. Two minutes out on the risotto, right, Josh? Two minutes. Two minutes. Drop a scallops. Brett's not here, we all have to step our game up. Okay, two scallops to the window, Josh. You ready to walk? Josh. Huh? You were... Josh, you ready to walk two risottos? Walk in, walk in the snow. No, no. Hey, not yet, get back there. Randy, you need to chill out. I'm not ready with that one. Freaking Josh, I mean, come on. The scallops are in the window, and he's still not ready. He's got 30 seconds to get the risotto, and we'll start again. Yes, chef. While Josh and the blue team are off to a bumpy start on appetizers, over in the red kitchen. I'm order four covers, table 15, one special app, table side, one mussels, two Caesar salad. Yes, sir. Christine is hoping for a smoother ride on the women's appetizers. How long? About two minutes, chef. Wait for the mussels to open. See, you have bread for my mussels? Yes. Awesome, thank you. I want to get us off on a great start and really, really push the apps hard. Ready to walk, ready to walk? Yeah. Coming now? My head's in the game. I'm ready to go. Right behind you, Michelle. Right behind you, Michelle. Thank you, Chef. Christine. Delicious those muscles. Thank you, Chef. Let's go. 
Christine seems in control, and the red team is off to a strong start. Back in the blue kitchen. Walking two risottos. Josh has delivered on his risotto. Beefy cokes. We're good, guys. I'm sorry. And with appetizers now moving briskly out to diners. Go, 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 go. Great the men move on to entrees. Three fish and chips, two New York strip, yes? It's gonna be eight minutes on a New York strip, chef. His fish is out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to refire those. I'm gonna be about eight, eight minutes, minutes on my fish. Yes, chef. I, 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 come here, you. Come yes, here, come here, come here. They're perfectly cooked. Fuck, man. Uh, I'm kind of kicking myself right now. When you're eight minutes behind, yes. and you're not saying anything to him, and he's cooked all this perfectly. Yes, Chef. I need to communicate with Randy better, Chef. You had better get organized. Yes, Chef. Understood. Fucking useless. While Randy and Adam start over on the men's first entrees. I fell behind for the first table. I'm not having it again, dude. In the red kitchen, Christine tries to keep the momentum going. On order, eight covers table 30. Two special app table side, two mussels, two Caesar salad, two short rib, entree, two chicken, two New York strip, two lamb, two burger. Yes, yes Chef. Good, let's go. Like, whoa. Michelle, do I have two risottos? No risotto. Are you sure? Yes. Christine, when there's several orders in play, she becomes overwhelmed. Chef, two minutes on muscles. I need another muscle, not two minutes on muscle. No? How long on muscles? Talk to me. I have to make one more. I'm sorry. Christine, the stage for hand holding is over. Christine, let's go. It's coming, Chef. It's coming. With now shaky Christine falling behind. I need to get another muscle on. Over in the blue kitchen. Two fish and chips, two New York strip. How long? We're coming up in a second. Let's go. Adam and Randy are still trying to get on the same page. You ready? Two New York strips. Just walking, go. Fish. Now the fish and chips are fucking burnt. Hey. Hey, all of you, come here. Come here. Damn. What is going on? Nothing, Chef. We're going to regroup right now. We'll refry, Randy. Me and Adam just like screwing each other. It pisses me off. If there's one thing that I grew up with, it was fish and chips. Absolutely. Hey, sure. And it wasn't soggy shit like that. Come here, you two. We're come on here, the same page now. Come here. Can you hey, my steaks? Hey, you watch hey, my steaks, hey, please. Come here, you two. Watch my steaks, please. And my chickens down the line up. Yes, chef. What the fuck is going on? You screwed it the first time round. Absolutely. Now it's back over to you. Yes, chef. Now it's back over to him. Yes, chef. Now it's back over to you. Yes, chef. And I don't know if you know, but we're not going anywhere. Absolutely, chef. We'll, we'll bring three, it back. Three minutes, we'll get off fish and chips. Yes, chef. As the men work to coordinate their timing. How long? How long? One How minute? Time do you need? Two minutes on the first order. Two, Two minutes. minutes. Okay. Randy and Adam's communication. Breathe, recover. Is about to be put to the test. Now that the VIP diners are about to be seated at the chef's tables. Very nice. Black people have been working all our lives to be in the main dining room, and here we are back in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, How are you, Frank? It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. My, my guys are scared. Good to see you. Please take a seat. While the celebrity diners settle in, ready for a little VIP treatment. I feel like, honestly, I want that burger now, dog. In the red kitchen. Allison, walking with burgers? Walking with burgers, slicing lamb. OK. All eyes are on Allison on the meat station to deliver on entrees. Lamb, please. Here, pass this over, Michelle. OK. Let's go. That lamb was undercooked. Yeah, bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. I wanted to give it back to Allison, but Chef Ramsey's like, no, give it to me. Uh, Michelle. Yes, yeah, Chef. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, T, come here. Are you fucking kidding me? It's going to make all of us look bad. You handed that to Michelle. What should you have said? Being the youngest. I should have said it's raw, Chef. Yes. That was fucked up. Yes, Allison gave it to me to pass off the blame. That's raw. That's raw. That's raw. Fucking Ray Charles can see this fucking lamb was raw. So you undercook it and pass it to the youngest in the kitchen. No, chef. Get it back in the oven. Yes, chef. What the fuck am I thinking? Okay, ready. Two lamb. Chef, right behind. Right, Allison. That's the lamb perfectly cooked. Yes, chef. All right, cool. Let's get back. Let's do it. We're good. We're good. We're good. With Allison's speedy recovery on the lamb, let's go. Entrees are now leaving the red kitchen at an appropriate pace. While over in the blue kitchen, 30 seconds. 30 seconds for the fish. Randy is still struggling to get out the refire on his fish and chips. Let me get in here with you. Let me get in with you. I got it. I got it. I, there, I can't hurry up the fryer. No, you don't. Got it. Obviously. Randy, you got this, baby. I know. You've been to fucking war. How long for two fish and chips? 30 seconds. Let's go. We gotta finish this table. Two fish. Walk to them. New York's. There you go, chef. Fish. Two orders. Walk to the pass.
Stand up, please, James. With Randy coming through on fish, Andres are making their way out to diners, anxious to try the gastropub specials. I'm a huge fan of fish and chips. It's probably some of the best. Meanwhile, chef table. back in the red kitchen. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. The chef's table has been served their entrees. Two minutes out on burgers, please. And Michelle is eager to keep everything moving in a positive direction. I'm walking with the uh, garnish right now. You guys will be up in a minute, yeah? I feel like the garnish station is perfect for me. I know I can do it, and I kind of want to show off a little bit. Like, I want everyone to know that I am a leader in this kitchen. Right now, you're giving me one chicken, going with two burgers and a fish. After that, it's two of everything. It's two of everything, guys. Okay, hurt, 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 hurt. I'm glad that Megan's in the dining room because it's my time to shine. I'm gonna make sure everyone knows that we do not need Megan in the kitchen to succeed. Come on, guys, pick it up. I need a good solid six minutes, please. We need to sell this food. Hey, I can't sell this without selling these, bur these french fries, right? What? I gotta put french fries down for this and you got fish all in the fryer. <laughs> two of everything, guys. While Michelle continues to bark out orders in the red kitchen. This is like the 10th time I've said it. Back in the blue kitchen. Okay. Chef Ramsay wants the blue team to pay special attention to the chef table. Entree, one fish and chips, two lamb. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's speed it the fuck up. Let's get this one for bread. Josh at times can get so riled up and so crazy in the kitchen that you don't know what direction he's going in. Walking with two lamb. Hey, blue team, all of you, come here. What's wrong with that lamb? The lamb's medium, chef. And look at our guests. Yes, chef. No, no, look at, take a look at our guests. Yes, chef. And they deserve that. No, chef. Fuck. Uh, I'm normally on point with lamb, of all the times, to have an overcooked lamb. I'm not accepting that. Absolutely, chef. And I'm going to blame him. I'm going to blame him, because yep. they're standing one meter away from you, right opposite you. And they're watching you go down. Absolutely, chef. Ooh, I gotta tighten my, I gotta tighten it up. I gotta tighten this ship. You got another lamb that can go? Yes, I have lamb okay. ready to go. I'm ready with fish and chips. Walk in it. Uh, give me another 30 seconds. Give me another minute. Give me another minute. He needs another minute. Another minute on lamb, please. Hey, Randy, get back. He needs another minute. Just get back. You just told me to walk. It's okay. The meat was not coinciding with the deep fried foods. It was. How long until we can walk? Lamb coming up right now. You have to walk in it. Fish chip. Walking with lamb now. What the fuck is this? Hi. Look at that. Raw lamb. Chef, I'll shoot it back in. From overcooked lamb to raw lamb. Why and how is this happening right now? This is the worst bit for me. Just look at the fish and chips. Just touch that. Touch that. Touch that. Yeah, touch. That was the uh, straw, I guess, that broke the uh, camel's back. Come here, all of you. Ladies, come here. This has been the worst performance the blue team have ever cooked in this competition. I'd like the red team to take with the blue team. I'd like the blue team to fuck off out of here. Yes, yes sir. Now, and young man, every table you fucked. You watched it go down. You wouldn't even talk to them. Every table was a struggle. Get out. You and Randy didn't talk at all. I was trying to not communicate. To each other. I was not trying to, each to other. communicate. I could talk to Randy the entire time. I could talk to Adam the entire time. But when I tell you guys to talk, you have to talk. I hate to point a finger, of course. But there was a lack of communication between Randy and Adam. That was out of character today. That was... You guys didn't know what was on the chef's table. You needed to look at each other in the face and say, I got fish and chips, and you have the lamb. It's got to be time. Deep fried food, when they come up, they got to go. If they sit, it ain't going to be good. Fuck. Entree, one fish and chips, two lamb. Chef's table, yes? Yes, sir. Let's go, come on. Just have 30 seconds on fries, please. Right behind you. Fish and chips to the pass. Service, please. Oh my oh, yeah. With the men out of the kitchen, the women deliver food to a grateful Fred Willard and his guests. Oh, very good. And now... Keep it going, ladies. Yes, yes. Chef. They are racing to complete the rest of the blue team's tickets. Working on lamb garnish. Three minutes on burgers. It was so sweet going into the blue team's nasty-ass kitchen. Burgers to the pass. 
and finishing their dinner service for them. The girls sorted it out. I got through it. I got through it. Damn, 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 damn. I didn't know what to say. It's plain and simple. It was a breakdown of communication, and it was right from the get-go. We tried to get back from it, and we just couldn't, we couldn't get on that same page. Communication is the only way we will ever win again. Josh, Jeff Ramsey wasn't happy with you either. For what? For, for what was it? I just heard him yelling at you. Relax. What'd you say? I said relax. I don't know who Josh thinks he is. I don't know what planet he's living on, but Josh planet, obviously. After today, one of us is going home, because that was just an epic breakdown. Every deliberation we ever had, we go off whatever happened at dinner service. Adam, you fucked up on meat. Randy, you fucked up on fish. Y'all two the ones that going up. So it's a unanimous decision. I need a minute. Honestly, Josh was all over the place. You know, he caught Randy off guard a couple of times. Randy was trying to cook, and he's yelling at Randy to step off and focus. It was. Josh gets frantic and frazzled, and tonight he was kind of all over the place. Josh keeps saying he's a leader, but the blue team went down in flames. He should go up for elimination. Anybody else disagree? No, I agree. Josh was part of the problem. After one of their best services last time, tonight the blue team had one of their worst, and they had to nominate two chefs for elimination. Nick, Blue Team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee chef is Randy. When it came down to fish and chips, something that should be really simple seemed impossible. Second nominee and why? Our second nominee chef is... Adam. Adam was on the meat station and it just was mistake after mistake after mistake. Randy, Adam, step forward. Do you know what? As I look at the two of you, there's someone else I'm desperate to hear from. Josh, move your ass. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I believe I am one of the best chefs in the Blue Kitchen. But I try to be vocal, I try to be the leader of the team. I'm trying to, to yell to fish and meat to talk. I didn't notice how terrible that the meat was tonight. You didn't notice? when you're standing side by side, like fucking Siamese twins. Adam. Disaster. Absolutely, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Today was a fluke, Chef. It was just an epic meltdown. I have not peaked. I know I have more to prove to you and more to prove to myself, Chef. Mistake after mistake was a fluke. Randy. Fish and chips. Burgers. I can't go any lower. Pretty easy, Chef. You're right. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Got a lot of discipline. I want to be here. I want to learn. I, I try to learn more than anybody else. I got a lot of room to grow. I'm running out of time. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Adam, your time is done. Give me your jacket, please. The young man, you sank the kitchen, and the biggest disappointment is that you were not bouncing back. Thank you for the opportunity. It's been an honor. Tonight definitely was my opportunity to step up. That meat station was the place to be. I wanted to bang it out of the park, but it was a disaster of epic proportions. It was just one of those things where you get caught in that quicksand and you can't get back out. You know, I think Chef Ramsay expected more of me. I expected more of myself. Unfortunately, this is where I ended up. When you make a mistake, you have to bounce back. Your future in Hell's Kitchen depends on it. Get out of here, guys.
We got rid of two strong competitors. There's only four of us left. I'm the best chef in this building. It's time for me to step it up right now. It was really a disaster tonight. I can't afford to be making stupid mistakes like that. We're getting close and people are going home. There's no room for error. I get it. Chef Ramsay's looking for perfection, and I did not give it to him. And I know that he believes in me. I have an opportunity to shine, and I just have to do it. Brett's competition may have ended in the bathroom today, but it was Adam's failure on the meat station that flushed his dream down the toilet. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Does Chef Ramsay suspect treachery among the ranks? I want to talk to each of you one on one in my office tonight. I'm definitely freaking out. And launch an investigation. Stan, please. I don't know what to expect, but my heart is pounding. Will some shocking truth cause the chefs to turn on each other? They look familiar, like fuck off. I am literally gonna have a mental breakdown. And Chef Ramsay reveals something so shocking. Uh oh. That some chef may want to leave Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> you can run. You can hide. Sayonara, bitches. I'm out. But there's no escaping. Next time on a terrifying episode of Hell's Kitchen.